Welcome back to episode 33 of the Beast Slayers Legends mod series. We just had a run-in with the moving trees, the living, breathing srats, uh, which was actually pretty tough, with the only two axe people having on our team would be Baojuin and Snake, so that was pretty rough. And as you can see, we've got way too many injuries to deal with, so we're going to have to try and heal up. Now, in order for us to finish this series on a good note, without everyone dying, and having that really cool, awesome fight, uh, we need to go and fight the Jirok. Now, we don't, we're not ready to fight the Jirok yet. We need to do a couple things first. One, we need to make sure our highest XP person is Thistle. Catalan is top of the XP at the moment, and that means she's going to go in 1v1 versus a melee enemy, which is not going to end well. So, Thistle is... Probably the better choice. Marco could be there, but I still think Thistle with the best defense on the team of 76. I mean, 72 is good for Inalog, but I think Thistle's cheating because he has balance, so technically Inalog's better. But Thistle is way higher level, and the XP he needs to catch up is only about 3,000. So, in order to get him max level, I mean, not max level, the highest XP is we'll go get ourselves some XP potions from the Southern Tribes, Southern Area, and do a bunch of arenas and fights. Now we've done most of the legendary monsters we wanted to do this series. We still have a couple more that we haven't been able to find. Namely the Skin Ghouls and the Stolwar the Stolworm Lindworms. I think that's how they're called. Uh, they're pretty cool and I do want to see if we can find them before the end of the uh, series, but if not that'll be unfortunate, but we can deal with it. Quickly reload our whips, and we want to celebrate with the nice sigils of defense that we've gotten. Now, knowing that we're going to put Thistle in the top line of things, do we want to give him the adjacency? Or do we want to give him extra defense? Now, in all honesty, I think he needs the extra defense. I just think he does. In a one-on-one -on -one series... As long as he's making sure his enemy is hitting 5% every single time, that's more important than him being able to hit, say... Oh, but that reduces their melee skill as well. By 12%. So it's either reducing their melee skill by 12%, or increasing our melee defense by 9%, and 12% is better. Okay. And anyways, we can always switch out shields anyways. That looks really cool. Look at that. The, the sigil actually changed the way the shield looks. And it's given us the... Is that our banner? No, that's not our banner. That's just one of the default banners in the game. That is really cool. Uh, I think that is the best sigil we've found so far. Negative 12% to melee skill and 10% to defense. Anybody standing next to you? Uh, I think we can give the slightly weaker one... Where is it? The 7% and 5%. That one can go to Inalog because she's busy tanking a lot as well. And then all of our weaker defenders, like Gertrude and them, we can give them the higher percents. Uh, Godfrey doesn't really need a big one, but 7% will still be pretty good. Marco's sitting on 56. I was worried about... Who was I worried about? Orbane. Yeah, his was a bit weaker. But we can still give Marco the 6%, and it changed it again. That looks really cool. And with a 3%, that's not going to do much, but we can put it to this shield for Xan. And it's gone invisible. Of course it's gone invisible. He's got an invisible shield, but it's still working. 3%'s helpful. But just in case anybody ever does need to use a Cypher shield, we can use the 3% there. Now, we got a lot of loot from those trees, but not very good loot. The Ancient Wood's probably the best loot that we can have, and it can make the really cool arrows, but we don't have the right people for it. So, we're going to go hunting. Uh, to keep ourselves alive, we're going to go into safer areas. They don't... Oh, there's more Shrats. No. No, 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 no. Please, go away. I mean, I've been hunting Shrats for 30 episodes, and we haven't found them, and now they're coming after us. Oh, the Ancient Temple. I don't remember what's in there, and it might be a fight, so I'm not going to risk it. 
And for those of you following on last episode, we did see the howling trees, or like the, the hallucinating trees. And I did choose the wrong answer, so don't worry about that. If you chose the other ants that we had in the trees, you could have gotten like one of those sacks of water that reduces old age. Not too big of a problem for us, because we don't have any sword masters, but you know. If we had any sword masters, it would be really helpful. So try and choose that on your runs. Uh, green skins, no. No, no, we're good. Oh, now that we're technically safe, I mean, we've been attacked by Hexen before in Citadel, so, you know, we're technically safe. Uh, let's heal everybody up. We have so much to heal, but we have also so much medical supplies because we've been stocking up, so not a problem for this party at all at this stage of the game. Yeah, that should be good enough. We can collect a few more medical supplies. They don't think there's anything for us to break down. Ah, oh, we can do a training modifier for... what's his name? Thistle. Where did he go? There we go. To try and boost his XP just a little bit more. Every little bit helps. And I don't care if he takes an injury. He's a, he's a beast. Oh, it's trying to end the game. No. We finished the noble thing, and it said, oh, good job for winning the game. We normally end our series there. I mean, it's taken forever, this series, to do it. But, yeah. Okay, so 61 XP, that's a very small, small amount. But, every little bit helps. There is a bowyer. There's a master archer. For 10 grand. Oh, we only have 10 grand. I was like, that's a cheap Master Archer. It's also all the money we own. So yeah, we won't be doing that. We're also running out of food, so we'll grab a couple little things. Tools were fine. Dogs were technically fine. Selling for 19 is actually not bad. The Heart of the Forest are such a waste. You only can really use them for, like, Oblivion potions. You can use them for XP potions. But the other ingredients you need are like witch's heart, witch's apples and stuff, so yeah, it's it's really hard to deal with the hearts. We'll keep one, you know, just in case. And the resin's nice to have, but we don't really need it. We keep the, the wood, because we might be able to do something with it later. We've just got so much stuff we haven't been able to use. Uh, is there nothing we really need? Not really. It's a new quest. Is that green skins again? Every time I see this picture. Root out some goblins. Oh, okay. They're technically green skins. Uh, well, let's journey south. That is our destination. Find a lumber camp person. Uh, what do they call them? Lumberjacks. And we hit here just as night fell. That's okay. We do love... Caravans, a day to the east, bramming, that's kind of out of the way, but not kind of, and a delivery, no. Bramming is just over there, does that help us get south? Not really. But it is free XP, and it is nighttime, and we've got nothing else to do. Sure, why not? And the only thing up here is barbarians, so it's not like we're going to get attacked. Yeah, they're... Such low numbers of barbarians that they won't bother us. 89 XP, eh, nothing to shake a stick at, but it's alright. No, no deliveries, please. 3 star quest 4? I have no idea. Lost something you loved? Oh. Oh, follow the tracks. I mean, that's a good amount of money. There's nobody here. Cheap food is always welcome. We have two fresh meat. We can make another dog. Just in case. I mean, we've got 14k. That should be enough for us to travel down south. Uh, let's do a quick crafting of a dog. 
Because, you know, it only takes like an hour to make a free dog. No, it takes like eight hours. Okay. That's... Three hours, then. There we go. And now we got a dog. Yeah, we're okay for money. We're only spending how much a day? 544? That's not too bad. Uh, let's go back to Grimstead. I mean, it's nighttime. We'll probably get there in the morning. Most of these villages that hang around uh, forests and stuff and places that have gatherers' huts usually have a good chance of getting you a lumberjack. I mean, a logger's camp, obviously, is even better. But we are just not getting the luck, are we? We still need more food, so buying some berries, not a bad choice. Uh, we will also quickly create some bread, because that, you know, is better than the grain. There we go. Just put a ton of them in. Oh, a laborer? Are lumberjacks laborers? Yes, they are. Okay, whenever you get this option, always say we haven't seen anyone around these parts. Because you always have a chance of getting a free recruit. And even if they're bad, just dismiss them. It's not a bad problem. But you get a free roll on a recruit. About like a 50% chance. And we rolled 50% chance. But since he's got a spade, he's probably... He's probably a grave digger. No, he's a day tailor, which is even worse. <laughs> he's got so much health. No, he's completely useless. Sad days. But yeah, it's just a free roll on a random laboring uh, background. So you can't ever worry too much about that. And it's, all, it's nice to have. So some events are really nice like that. Some of them are horrible. This one has a logger camp. And there is a Lumberjack. There are two Lumberjacks. And to be safe, which one's the better one? Cocky is bad. But he's the one with the defense. Drunkard is bad. Oh, <laughs> they're both horrible. But we need one. He's a lot bigger than him. He's a lot smaller. Uh, I think we'll just take the cheaper one. Because he has a slightly better chance of rolling better stats. No, not really. Oh, I guess it was worth a try. We can still give him some basic armor and stuff. Keep him alive. Give him a 80 helm with a... Yeah, it really ruins his stamina, but he'll be fine. Give him a spear, sit him on the corner. Mr. Rupert the Lumberjack. And the reason why we had to grab him is because the crafting system, which I do believe they've updated it and all that, in the newer versions, they've, they're always trying to advance their crafting system. Because it's, I, I believe it's fundamentally flawed. But the crafting system... Where did it go? It should have been available. Or did we not have everything we needed? We might have to buy some wood. Sorry, I've cut myself off because I'm trying to think of something. Oh, he needs the perk? Oh, I thought they just needed Lumberjack. Hmm. Well, that throws a spanner in the mix. Not a horrible spanner, but how much how much XP does he need? He needs to be level six. Sheesh. Okay, well, I guess we waited too long for that. There's no way we're getting him to level six. Level six requires. Oh, fudge, we still even have someone at level 6. Level 6 requires 3,500 XP. 
That takes way too long for a newbie at this late, late part of the game. Yeah, no, that's not gonna happen. Well, it was the thought that counts, basically. We might have to dismiss him. Now, I need to double check, because we're trying to get a bunch of crafting done. And I wanted to show off the really cool shield that heals itself. But I don't think we'll be able to get it done. Yeah, the living tree shield is really, really cool. I love the fact that it heals itself 20 durability each turn. The only downside, I mean, there's two downsides to it, which is really sad. It could be overpowered, but it's not. The melee defense, or melee defense, however you want to say it, is too low. Basic tower shields are 25. And it's 20. So, I mean, you're giving up 5 defense to be constantly regenerating. And you're like, okay, well, you can sort of see the, the benefits of it if you're versing a bunch of barbarians and they got a bunch of axes. But then you look at the fact that it's got 40 uh, durability. That breaks on almost any axe attack when it comes to split shield. So you, you spend all this effort to fight really strong enemies that are very painful. To have a shield break in one hit. So it's a really cool shield and I'd love to have shown it to you guys. But yeah, it's just unfortunate. Now the Greenwood shield is better. But we didn't get lucky on the rolls for the loot to get Greenwood from the, the legendary Shrats. So unfortunate. But other than that, the Shrats don't really give you much in terms of loot. So unless you really like that green one, which I think is, is worth it. It's just a bit of a, a stretch to get it. Two days northeast. No, we're not going northeast, buddy. Uh, and now that we know that's that... Oh, right, I was going to double check. Because I was going to see, is it worth it getting the... Or should we just stick with this guy? Uh, getting the Bowyers and the... Where is it? Is it offensive? Yeah, it's offensive. So we've got Ancient Wood. We've got two of them. And you need... I know it's blacking out because I constantly go out of this page and into this page. It just needs the background, so I think, I think it's better to get rid of our guy, unfortunately. But, that is one way that you can get the Shrat stuff is with the, the perk, but it's so, that's why I call this crafting thing a bit flawed, because for at least 50% of the crafts, you need a blacksmith, which we've been doing really well with. We've got Shakar, the blacksmith. Blacksmiths are amazing. The only problem is, if you can see him, he's paying $58 a day. So it's it's really expensive to get them. It's really expensive to keep them. Uh, lucky you don't need a perk to do what they're doing in order to get all those things. But, I mean, we had to get a really bad blacksmith that we had to put in the back lines, which worked out. But the, the requirements that you need for certain things it just doesn't make sense. Like a lumberjack needing to be level 6 just to make a shield... Whereas a blacksmith just needs to be level 1, uh, a bowyer and a fletcher just needs to be level 1. It's just, it seems like it's a bit too limiting. But then again, I'm not the perfect person to talk about the structure of all that. <laughs> Anyways, we've got to get rid of this lumberjack, and we've got to switch him out for a fletcher or a bowyer. Which is not here. Uh, we'll take, no, no, we're not taking the quest, that's right. We'll take the south route, keep going. It's going to take us a while to get there, so we'll take the boat from this place. We'll go through... we'll go the long way around. Okay, we don't need to worry about you. You're just hunting the caravan, so have fun with that. There's a mercenary party here. There is a minstrel. No, we don't need a minstrel. No, we're not going to fight undead. And we're not going to do a delivery quest, so not very many good things available to us at the moment. But that's okay. We're doing okay for money, and we're not desperate. It's pretty cool to see a mercenary party. They're pretty rare around these parts. Around any parts. A noble quest to do beasts. Go on. Interesting. That seems very painful to do. But interesting, to say the 
the least. Follow the tracks, yeah, not really. Can you take us south? Three days to the south on a caravan? I am feeling very happy about that. We'll wait till morning. Just as quickly as we... There we go. Check out what they have. Nothing. Hunters are good, though. No, they're doing really bad because they got raided. Eh, it's understandable. Okay, well, to Karakran, or Fudge, I probably said it wrong. We could either take the boat or we could get tons of XP ferrying a caravan down. And still go through a bunch of places. Yeah, sure. Let's take the caravan. Onward. Now, late game, taking the northern, or any part of the game, the butcher wants to eat the puppy. Hmm. I'm glad we stopped him. Uh, I forgot to check out that place. That's fine. Late game or any part of the game, I must say. Taking northern caravans just sucks. Mainly because you've got the really weak caravan hands defending it. I mean, they've gotten a little bit better in Legends. But not amazingly. The southern caravans are amazing. Always love taking them. They're the biggest kill-stealing kill bunch of people that will ever join your party. That's scary. And I think they're coming for us. Before that happens... <gasps> there is a Bowyer and a Fletcher. And another Fletcher. We will happily take you into our ranks. One of you. Probably not the asthmatic one. That one's not bad. And that one's not good. The fat girl who's got the plus two range skill is probably the best choice. Welcome, welcome. 40 is not that great, but there's gifted and no slings. Could do crossbow. Because crossbow is easier to hit things with. Plus 15 to hit, minus 3 to dial, tile distance. Definitely an option. Because the warbow is 0 and then minus 4. Which is cool and all, but I think the crossbow is the better play to play early game. Uh, let's get you a nice helmet. Yeah, you can have a gambeson. You can have the medium style armor. Still gets a bit of fatigue. That's good. Am I missing anything? You don't need daggers. Oh yeah, I was gonna put you a bit here, hiding in the back. Yeah, that's not too bad. The only problem is her armor's a bit damaged. That's the only slight problem, but that's okay. And now we'll be able to craft some arrows, which is nice. Before we get into this potential fight, is there anything cool that we can buy? No, not really. Yep, out of stock for practically everything. Okay, let's see if they're actually going to fight us. And they did, and the mercenary party is joining us. And the town's militia is joining us. I don't think these nomads uh, picked a good fight. I mean, there's a Blade Dancer and Desert Stalkers. But this is going to be like 40 people. Versus 50 people. <laughs> this is when you know you've picked a wrong fight. Yep. Okay, let's, let's destroy the Cutthroats. Because they're almost a one-shot. We'll take the two shot. We'll take it. And our help is already sniping. Amazing. Koro, do your thing. Blade Dancer is a bit scary, especially with a polearm. They're a lot scarier with the polearm. Yeah, that's fine. 
But I guess this, the this Desert Stalker is the only thing that I'm sort of worried about. Okay, Catalan, you wanted to go for him instead. Fair enough. We'll oblige your request and go for the kill. Unfortunately, you missed that last shot, but that's okay. You chose this guy and he gets killed. I don't care if they kill steal us. We're not here for the XP. We're here to keep the caravan alive. And we're here to just have fun in a gigantic 50 versus 20 fight. This is just gonna be a stomp. Okay, let's put our tanks out in the middle. There's really no worry about them. Should we take the high... One, two, three... I probably could have taken the high ground. No, we won't take the high ground. We'll just sit in the middle. They're probably going to take the high ground and we get to shoot them off the high ground. Or they're just going to focus their archers, which is what usually nomads do. Keeping their archers safe. Is he named? Oh, Fudge is moving around too much. He is named. Very cool. But he's not a champion. Which reminds me, we haven't fought a champion this run, have we? We've had the opportunity to, but we denied it because we didn't want to do it. It was going to be way too much effort. Ah, uh, should we dog this? Sure. Why not? Could have double dogged as well, I just remembered that. Because he's got a couple extra dogs up his sleeve. Orbane with the hit through the shield. Almost a one-shot? That's amazing. That was unfortunate. For Send, you're gonna one-shot him. Beautiful. I mean, he already was lowered health, but still. Beautiful. Velo, split him. Unfortunate miss on the first one, but that's okay. New girl. Uh, there's no one to shoot. Could accidentally shoot our friend? Eh, that's fine. Yeah, this, this isn't a fight, this is a slaughter. Uh, we can't move two spaces and attack. That's rather unfortunate. We have quick hands, so we can switch to our melee weapon and walk right up to them with the cleaver. I think this is the first time Joanna's going to use her cleaver. It's mainly because we're in a fight that we're just going to win. That's why I'm bringing out the cleaver. Normally I wouldn't, because she just takes too much fatigue using it. Nice one, Thistle. You blinded him? Oh! Oh, the shield ability, the thing that's the minus 10 to his... minus 12 to his skill, is actually called blinded in the game. That's what they've added to it. That is really cool. I like it. Ah, oh, we tried. Tried to be fancy. Uh, Snake, just run up to the back line, I guess? Because we've got to take out those archers, mainly the Desert Stalkers. Okay, that was a good miss. Tried to hit Keridan. Old Keridan, at least. They're not really doing much shooting, which is interesting. Blade Dancer, where is he going? He's gonna hit Marco, isn't he? Ooh, the adrenaline. That's scary. He's gonna hit three... Can he hit three of us? Yeah, he can. But he can hit his own guy as well, so we'll have to see what he does from there. Cool Cat's gonna get wrecked if he gets too close to the archers, so we'll keep him up here. Yeah, that was something. Oh, that wasn't our dog. Okay. I was worried our dog was the one that took the hit. 
Yeah, they're acting a little slow because it's such a big fight, but that's okay. That's a dead mercenary, okay. At least it's not a dead caravan hand. They're staying alive in the back. Our dog is the white dog with the armor on. Just have to remember that in case another dog goes down. Okay, that's not our guy. Good, good. The one thing I would like to see, though, is, like, little auras around your guys compared to allies. Or little auras around allies. Because in giant fights like this, you just can't tell who is who. Even with them facing the different directions. And sometimes you can get lost in, like, a hundred... over a hundred people in a fight. And be like, okay, which one's my guy again? And even for me, I'd have to stand back and be like, yep, okay, so that's our guy, that's not our guy. Like, the ore is here when you're attacking. It's so much nicer. And I think we're going for this guy. Catalan, you are a beast. Nicely done. Uh, let's finish him off. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, Desert Stalkers are impossible to hit, but we might get the splatter. No, that's okay. Throwing axes behind a bush? Oh, I forgot to put the red thing on. There, yeah. You're not going to throw axes behind a bush to that guy. That's, that's impossible, bud. Now, here's something I do want to test. We can put a second dog out at the end. Wait, what's our inventory? Where's our inventory? Oh, we can't see our inventory from here. We put out Mutt and Bane. Do they both come back to us? That's one I think I want to double check. Yes, go after the archers. Good job, Mutt. He didn't go after these guys. That's a smart dog. Before he dies, you know. 85, 77. Can we get the 77? Can we get the 88? Almost one shot, one shot both of them. Beautiful damage, Orbane. Absolutely beautiful. That's the named guy, too. Uh, let's go for this one again. Yeah, sure. Camilla with the insta-kill on two hits. Very nice. Yeah, that didn't work out. Unfortunate. Slow down, big guy? No, it didn't work. Okay, let's try out this cleaver. Missed an 80%. Normally would have been good. Had to jump back because I forgot Velo didn't have a turn yet, so Zan would have blocked him. Luckily, Zan's got amazing defense, so we didn't have to worry. I just realized the named guy rushed Riviere. What a jerk. But Riviere doesn't care. He's just going to kill someone else instead. 95 or 95? I mean, he's dying anyways. Let's just kill him. New girl, where are we going? Oh, uh, you're going to get sniped by Desert Stalkers if you move forward, so please don't move forward. Let's keep you safe. That was unfortunate. Still very much worried about this guy. Oh, I forgot about the big guy, but I don't care. He's... We're a tank. Uh, run up to the Desert Stalkers to bother them as best as possible. Snake can come over here, too. Yeah, why not? And completely ruin them because he's got the, the Wolf Helm. He can instantly fear people if he gets a really good roll with the Resolve. That's amazing. I love it. And it can get better because we only have one piece of the set. If you kill more White Wolves, we can buy this... Not buy. We can craft the second piece to the set to reduce the resolve even better. I mean, that's if you're going for a resolve build. Which we didn't, but we're just reaping the benefits of what we have. Beautiful. Let's chase him down. Archer is going to move closer. Please don't, please don't. Oh, it's not our guy, okay. 
The archers are rushing for the high ground. Our dog has cornered three archers. That's amazing. That mercenary has overwhelm? Very nice. That's a brave mercenary. He walks two spaces between peoples. I can go into melee with him. Okay, the, the, the blade dancer is still... Oh, wow, nice kill steal. My main concern is still the blade dancer. Normally he'd be the fastest one out there almost, but he's a bit wavering at the moment, so... He's not as fast as he could be. Did we literally hit a 12%? No, it was a 34. It lies to us. Okay. Oh, our dog has gone and... That's dangerous, buddy. And he still has a turn. Roscoe, I think you can take him. I hope you can take him. Black dog, go protect your dog. I think that's the best thing. I I'm just worried. Yep, I saw that happening. But luckily, we didn't get hit. It was just that guy. Can we put a net? No, it's too much of a waste to use a net in this fight. Beautiful! Completely ignores the shield and Orbane whacks him in the head. What a snipe. And the Blade Dancer's fleeing. Amazing. Nine lives, of course. Named people always have nine lives. Uh, Velo, go help up here, because this guy's completely screwed. Ah, uh, there's nothing to do. Nice job. And Joanna can't do anything! The dog's in the way. Nice damage. Camilla almost gets the kill. New girl, yeah, you just stay there to be safe. Beautiful kill. Ninety-three? With a headshot? Why not? That one's escaping. Should we chase him? Sure, why not? XP is XP, and that's an... Oh, the dog. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. Snake gets an amazing dunk. But I'm worried about the dog. Wow, they're shooting their own dog in the back. No, that's our dog! They just shot our dog! This is why allies are evil. The only dog left alive is our Bane. Sheesh. They're ruthless, those mercenaries. They'll help, but they'll kill your dog. hit Velo. Beautiful. He's still not even wavering. This guy is a tanky outlaw. We're getting a bit too many people for too little enemies. If we go this way, can we hit him? No, we can't. Switch to melee. Rush him. That was horribly missing. 
Nice, Marco. Okay. Who gets to go next? Oh, don't shoot our own guys. The dog almost gets the kill. I'm so worried that dog's gonna die. Nope, that was unfortunate. They might steal the... Okay, they stole that kill, the dog might survive. Archers are so useless in this type of position, but there's not much we can do about it. Come on. Orbane is on a killing spree. Where is... we got it? Man, we're so slow. Okay, Keridan, please. Thank you. Not too many kill steals against us. Catalan destroying people as usual. Congratulations. And yeah, the loot's alright. Just stuff to sell pretty much at this stage. And seeing as we're sitting at a city, we might as well just sell it all. No! It didn't let us Ah That's unfortunate. Please let us go to this... Oh no, it's not going to let us go to the city because they're off the track. I hate that cities do that. That's one thing I also hate. Uh, we'll make him happy. We'll play... There we go. Bit of gambling with Godfrey. Makes him happy. Okay, let's sell here at Krauberg. Or Krokberg. Not the best with those names. Really don't care about the price at the moment. Sword Lance? We might keep that, because that's actually a pretty decent weapon. But we'll sell practically everything else we don't need. Including that. The extra whip might come in handy. So I'm not knocking the whip just yet. We don't need all the helmets and such that we just got. We might need the attachments. It is possible that some of these are decent. I know some of the 30 for 30, 30 for 3 is not too bad. Yeah, that's good enough. In terms of food, we're fine. In terms of tools, we're fine. Ammunition, it's running a little low, so we'll buy the cheap. Well, it's not running low. But it would be nice to... We have a maximum of 900, so... Definitely good to keep on top of that. Anything else interesting? There's a kennel. We never got lucky with the northern dogs, though, unfortunately. Not this season. Maybe when we head back up there for the final fight, we might... Might get some luck our way. Nothing interesting. There's nothing attacking this place. Surprising that they just don't have random famed items. Oh well. Didn't we finish this? We have more than one famed item. Maybe it's bugged out at the moment. Anyway, 1600 experience to the entire team. That is amazing. Is that a level up for everybody? Almost. Inalog, beautiful, beautiful. What more can we say? I don't know. Do we give her the attack? We might as well. It's just plus three for free. The health? Probably, because she doesn't need anything else. It's just in case she gets those unlucky hits like she did last time. 122 health at level nine. That's amazing. Now that we have everything we practically want, I think going into Steelbrow and Battleforged is probably the right choice. Because Battleforged gives her 67% damage. I mean, reduced down to 67%. 67 
So Battleforge means any damage that you normally take for armor is now reduced by how much armor you're wearing. So instead of taking 100% damage from a hit, you take 67%. Which is really good. It's only to the armor, so it's not like nimble. But yeah. Okay, so Zan, congratulations with the plus four. That is amazing. I think we still need the resolve. I mean, you're on 59. But she rolled plus two in practically everything. So we might take the resolve. And we need the fatigue because of your broken lungs. Sounds good. We'll take the rebound, I think. Actually, does he desperately need it? Yeah, he does. He does. Then we can start taking some more... Uh, what is it called? Nope, not the bribe one. That one, the greed. 7.5% barter. I mean, Zan's doing good already. Screw it, we'll go for greed right away. 7.5% barter, which puts the whole party at 23% barter. And technically we're still paying 56, 563? That doesn't sound right. We have Paymaster. Unless it's bugged out, which it's possible that Paymaster is bugged out. Weird. Oh well, that's unfortunate. Uh, Polaris, congratulations on level 11. And a beautiful plus 4 in the melee skill. And a beautiful plus 3 in health is probably the only thing that you really need. Sure, we'll sit on 88 health. Two perks to your name, and they will be... I mean, you don't really need the fatigue, you just need damage. Uh, Shared Conquest is probably what we were going to go for next, and... I think Underdog is what we were talking about, just so you don't get surrounded when you now hang out in melee. Because there's not much else that you really need. I mean, Bandage Mastery is really cool. Actually, we could do Bandage Mastery. Never needing a bandage, and you can heal people whilst in a zone of control. It's not healing, I mean, it, it stops people from bleeding out. Does anybody else have Bandage Mastery, or are you the special one? Are you the chosen one at the moment? Nobody... We have a lot of Peacefuls on our team. We literally have no one else for Bandage Mastery. You know what? There might come a time when this is more important. Let's do it! 6 AP, 5 Fatigue, fixes all of the bleeding effects, and all of the fresh injuries that include cutting and bleeding out slowly. And now you don't even need to have bandages in your inventory. How amazing is that? And with clarity, you can move further to save people. So, good job, Polaris. Uh, Gertrude, keeping up that initiative. Unfortunately, it's only a three. Two in defense. And I think we need that resolve up, because you need to get closer to 60. But that health, the plus four health, is so enticing. You know what? You'll get the plus four resolve next level. You get the plus four health now. But what do you need? You have Rebound. Dodge Relentless. <gasps> there is a 20% initiative. Alert. That's perfect. Which boosts your dodge by so much. We should have gotten that ages ago, but in all honesty, we had a bunch of other perks we really needed beforehand. But yeah, Alert's amazing. In any dodge build, in any... Fencing build. That's right, I forgot the other one that needed initiative. Alert for 20% free initiative is just awesome. Uh, Godfrey Mr. Leg Problem is doing well. Can't knock up a plus 4 health. And do you need fatigue? No, you've got rebound. Just go for the plus 3 melee skill, I guess. As a nimble tank, what do you need? You got your stalwart, you've got your immunities.
extra dam no, we want extra survivability somehow. Reach advantage is useless. We could go with faint. That does help people with tanks. When tanks hit things or miss things, that's really good. We're not going to make him a dodge person because his initiative sucks. Dodge is usually good on, like, everyone. If you've got nothing else to do, you can give dodge, but it'll give you, like, nothing. Almost nothing if you've got no initiative, so it's usually just a waste. But in some situations, it can give you, like, plus one in something in terms of defense. But yeah, there's really not much else that benefits him tank-wise. So I guess we just go faint? We could give him True Believer. But he's already brave and stuff. We could just go Backstabber for the extra accuracy, but then that kind of counteracts Faint. Everything counteracts Faint if you're trying to hit people. Ah, screw it. We'll do it anyways. Uh, Velo keeping up that mind over body resolve. How's it going? It's at 23. Gotta still keep pushing it higher. Yep, that's all we can do for the moment. Oh, we didn't even take mind over body yet. I was like, why is it still at 23? That's probably why. I think now is the time to take it. I mean, we could get balance to keep him alive more, but 33 is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful to have defense. I mean, he's got sure footing, but you know. Let's take the mind over body, see what that goes down to. 18. Oh, we're so close. We needed to get down to 15, because rebound... Actually, wait, 18's pretty good. If we give him Pathfinder... And balance next level... He'll have 20 fatigue, but then he moves... Yeah, that probably would do it. He probably doesn't need too much more, he's gonna be like a perfect build. Very nice. It's always amazing when you get a two-handed sword, mind over body build, come to fruition. Uh, Joanna, extra defense, extra melee skill, extra mind over body. That puts you down to 10 fatigue still. And we were grabbing matching set, that is right. We were so happy to grab this. Now, with matching set, she can now be a cleaver for the rest of her life. And we can give her the extra whip that we have. There it is. So nice to have. Just need to repair that whip. Okay, so. This is a weird build. I'm not sure how it's going to work. But the most important thing we can have is, where is it? Matching set is making sure your armor is equal. And it can't be over 400. So each piece can't be over 200. So we need a 200 helmet and 200 body. How are we going to force that to happen? A 45 base with a 20... This one would work. That's 220. 220 is not good enough. We might need to buy a very cheap, crappy armor. 45. Can we find a 45 armor piece? 25? 65? That's a 45 attachment. <gasps> Could we do 25 plus 20? We're not getting lucky, are we? Is there an armory here? There is. That means we've got a slightly higher chance of finding... That's a 45! It's a famed armor, too! <laughs> That's exactly what we were looking for. It's the stupidest famed item in the game. To have a famed item linen tunic. But that's exactly what we needed. 
What is this coincidence? That's exactly what we needed. That's so weird. Okay. Now Joanna looks like a beast. Has 200-200 armor. Recovers... 20 fatigue a turn. Uses 20 fatigue a turn. As long as she never gets hit, she's fine. And will attack as much as she wants. With a mind of her body cleaver build. It could work. It's very hard to keep up. But it could work. Uh, for send, we've got range skill, range defense, and... Health? Fatigue? Health? Probably the health. And... As a gunner crossbow, you need... I don't think she needs anything else. Oh, I guess bullseye. To help with her crossbow shots. That's something that's good. It is useless on a gunner. Piercing shot's pretty good, but not amazing. Ballistics... Actually, that's pretty good, too. Gives her a 3% extra chance to hit. Probably Bullseye first, and then Ballistics. Our Whip Net build is going with Accuracy and those two. Can't get Nimble yet. Can't make Nets yet. How are we going to keep you alive? Anticipation's good. Keeps you away from archers. Fast adaptation. That's what we wanted. So you can get a guaranteed disarm eventually. That's very important. Uh, this is sort of a failed build. Nice plus three. Maybe not a failed build with that plus three. But kind of a failed build because, yeah, the resolve. Yeah. Ronda Linda is just sort of a backup person that kind of failed, sadly. But that happens in Battle Brothers. Not everybody survives. Yeah, let's go with the Nine Lives just to keep her going. This is our uh, Bowyer? Or is it a Fletcher? Oops. Escape gets you out of both things. Interesting. It's a Fletcher, okay. And she's gotten four levels, oh my goodness. Okay, let's just do this quickly. Way too many levels to work with at the moment. Yep, let's keep you alive, give you fast adaptation, because why not? And I forgot to get gifted, that's okay. Uh, old Keratin... Just keep you going, man. We could actually change him into being supportful now. Because we now have the ability to get Song of Life. And also War Chant. I forgot about that. Instead of Reserve Banner, we're going to be Drums. So do we need health or do we need Fatigue? Health is more important, but we'll get fatigue next. So we'll do it like this. There we go! Uh, headhunting, very nice. Fatigue is what he always needs. And he does need his recover, but is there anything we desperately need before then? Probably not. He desperately needs his recover. He's been suffering in so many fights that he's just... Running out of energy. Uh, Keratin 2.0, congratulations. Plus 5 is beautiful. And I'm not going to argue with a plus 4 as well. We're going to go with Mind Over Body, because that is amazing. You attack for 8 fatigue. That is ridiculous. You recover 15 fatigue per turn, and you spend 16. You'll never run out of fatigue. Now, how much does the banner cost? 17 for rally? That's so low. It's normally like 25. 
Uh, silkworm, just stay alive as usual. Because you're the one helping us with being a supportive... Actually, we can give a rally the troops. Why not? And Believer. Also got to go for some balance and all that eventually. Probably could have done that now, but whatever. Anyways, man, that's taking way too much time to constantly level people up. That armor looks cool. We came down here to do one thing, which was doing the... Uh, where is it? The arena's over there. Okay, it's a bit further than we expected. Nomads out of location. Interesting choice. What kills people in the desert is most likely Ifrits, and I'm not interested. We need the Potion of Knowledge. That is desperate. We need as many of those as we can. So it's good that we came here first. We're full of people, so why am I looking here? I don't know. Is there anything I'm forgetting? We need to put the potion onto Thistle. He's at 1800. Catalan's at 2100. Okay, so we need to get this going. As quickly as possible. Now, it's getting to the hour mark on the video, so we're going to try and quickly get an arena fight in just before we finish the episode. Because we spent a lot of time doing other things. Let's not get attacked in the desert, please. We're not that enticing. We're not interesting. We're just boring. Thank you for ignoring us. Good. So, please find me another... Yes! Potion of Knowledge. Oh, they're so valuable. And if we ever get... Oh, selling for 24? Oh, that's also because we are, our barter just got increased. So that's why we're selling things for such a good price. Can sell for a decent price on most things. Kind of interested in that sword lance. 60 to 80 with a 30% ignore. I need to make sure. 60 to 80, 30% ignore. 5% to hit the head. That does Bill hooks do better against armor, which is why you like them that way. But the reason why the Sword Lance can be insanely overpowered is because of the Reap ability. You can basically sweep like a two-handed sword, but at a distance. Only problem is it costs a lot of fatigue. But you can do it twice a turn. Shakar seems like the best person for that, because of his extra fatigue. We don't have a good rune for it, do we? Oh yeah, we do. 8 max damage, 5% damage inflicted. There we go, Shakar's got a sword lance. I don't think anyone else has the better choice because of fatigue. That's 80 fatigue. Uh, Camilla has 70 fatigue. Who else is a two-handed person at reach? Rondolinda, kind of? Yeah, no, sitting at 94 means you can do two of them, two of them, and then recover. Yeah, that's pretty beastly. Anyways, let's get this arena fight quickly done. And we're going to take a few people with us. We're going to take Thistle... Who else does damage? Snake is amazing. And who else is a really good damage person? Probably like Ruvier or Shakar. It'll be Noxeraz. Yes. Okay, so let's go. Thistle with his extra bonus XP. Snake, because he's a beast for his double damage great axe, basically. Oh, we could also take Velo. Against Noxiraz. Two-handed swords and two-handed axes do a lot of damage. But then again, Riviere does a lot of damage, too. Out of reach, which is sort of what you want. And he's already a pit fighter, so yeah, we'll go with Riviere. 
Maybe we can get Velo in on in the next episode into the fight. Where did it go? There it is. Okay, let's take the fight. There's only one big one. That is a very good sign. Okay, let's end our turns. Let's see where they go. The fact that Thistle l lowers their um, abilities is amazing. Oh, yeah, we gotta worry about him eating. They're obviously rolling for 5%. He ate? What a jerk. We have to kill him. Okay, please don't... Please don't kill Riviere. He got eaten. That's fine. I'd rather have Riviere eaten than killed. And Snake can just kill everyone else. As long as Thistle's standing next to the enemy, Snake is just gonna walk up and basically destroy them. This is... this should be illegal. This should be illegal. Snake has a 95% chance to hit because of the extra damage, the defense reduction because of the shield. <laughs> he does a thousand damage. It's ridiculous, and Thistle gets 1300, almost 1400 XP. We are arena farming all next episode. Thistle and everyone, oh my goodness, this is just amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I think Vela would do well in this fight as well. 100% chance to hit with a giant sword. 125 damage. No, actually, I think Revere does twice that damage. But if Velo can sweep or split, then it's sort of contested. Because we're not moving much. Shakar could do the sweep as well. Yeah, the potential for all of them is still good. Anyways, that was amazing. Loved it. And I hope you guys did too. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And we'll catch you next time when we farm... Thistle to the best person on the team in terms of XP. Anyways, catch you the next one. See yous.